Okay, hello everyone. Let me just finish setting up everything here. <clears throat> and we are live. So today I didn't announce I was going to make a live video because it I didn't prepare anything special I just wanted to talk a little bit about the updates I have for this week last week I couldn't make a, a live video because I was I wasn't home and today let me see how many people there are hello origami kyokai let me just wait a little bit so at least 10 people <laughs> is watching my video oh hello Maurice from Colombia I have a lot of people watching my videos from from this region here I I had a lot of people from Mexico actually watching my videos I don't know why Mexico is always among the five most watched countries but this region <clears throat> there are a lot of people watching my videos okay so before anything I want to thank Eric uh, it's the second second legends member I got my channel and I really want to thank him because uh, I've been working a lot on this channel and right now it's only possible thanks to the members and it's actually the reason I can't earn a lot on YouTube is that when I make a video when I create an, an origami it takes about let me see uh, two three days to create a simple origami a really simple origami and that added to the years and years of practice to know how to achieve something in, in a few minutes a few days actually and after after I create something I, I make the tutorial and the tutorial has something like 15 minutes and then someone just watches my video and refolds it folds the origami again and make another video and this is actually one of the reasons I can't earn much on YouTube and what happens is that it's just too much effort for someone else to just watch a 15 minutes video and create another video of your origami and unfortunately YouTube doesn't help me in this point I mean I have to register my origami register the copyrights and everything before before I can before I can ask YouTube to remove the origamis from other channels and that process is just sometimes it's too expensive so it's not worth it let me see how many people there are here today oh 18 people already <laughs> it was fast so uh, that's one of the reasons I can't earn much on YouTube and that's why the members are actually the ones allowing me to make this channel right now I am trying to register I am registering my origamis and I am making the diagrams and I will copyright the diagrams and everything um, by doing this I can ask YouTube to remove the other videos uh, one example is the, the origami F15 it was the main uh, source of income back in the days where when I could live only from uh, the money I earned from YouTube but it happens that it's an it's an easy origami so a lot of people just learn how to make the origami and there are tens uh, dozens of of videos showing teaching the same origami so I asked some people already to remove the the video I am already registering the origami but I don't want to go striking every channel 
So I am asking them to remove the videos and most of them are removing actually. So I am actually trying to do everything so my channel gets back on track, you know, so I can I can earn enough. But right now the members are the ones helping me, are the ones saving my channel. <laughs> so I'm really thank thankful from them for them. <laughs> I am actually practicing, I'm also practicing my English, my speech. I'm trying to practice a little bit because I, I need to practice to say, uh, to speak in English. It's, too, it's still too slow for me to speak in English. I have to think, uh, I don't actually think in Portuguese and then translate. But some words, it takes some time to, to remember the way to, the correct way to say the word. And I need to improve my, my vocabulary. Uh, not only my vocabulary, but the way I, I say everything, just to be a little bit more natural. Anyway, it, at least it's, it's understandable. I hope it is understandable. Okay, so the updates. Uh, for members, for channel members, there are actually there are three origamis only for members right now. Uh, it's the origami chunky cat, this one here. Let me see here. Okay, this one is the origami chunky cat. It was one of the prototypes I created when I was creating the little cat, and the tutorial is already there. So this origami here is a little bit fat because <laughs> it has a different orientation. The, the little cat, I, I fold the little cat along the diagonal, right? It's symmetrical along the diagonal. And this one is symmetrical in this direction here. So I fold the origami in this direction. And that's why the tail is also shorter. I'll also read the comments later, okay? Oh, hello, Shangnara. Shangnara. I don't know the correct way to say your name, but I suppose Nara is Japanese, so Shang Shangnara. Is that right? <clears throat> so, uh, the Chunky Cat is already for, for members. Another origami tutorial for members is the origami dead body. <clears throat> This one I actually created like a month ago, but I didn't record the tutorial and I finished the tutorial this week. So this is another origami only for members, for now. And the other one, the most famous one, is the Darkness Dragon. So you can find the tutorial only for members. All these origamis I will release for, for everyone eventually, okay? Uh, this one I will release when I reach 500k subscribers. So this will be linked to this milestone, okay? And let me see the other ones. Now this one, the Chunky Cat and the Dead Body will probably be available on January or close to January because uh, this month I am still working on Christmas decorations so I won't release these tutorials right now I'm going to release the Christmas decorations ones <clears throat> and now I am also recording some old tutorials because some of the videos was really bad because I was <clears throat> still in the beginning of making origami tutorials and right now my tutorials are way very clearer clearer it's so hard to say this word way clearer than before so I'm trying to remake some of the origamis okay and the first Christmas decorations I am 
<clears throat> I just finished recording. I am still finishing editing. I hope I can finish the, uh, the editing today and upload the video today. It is the origami Santa, Santa Claus. I just created. Okay, so this origami Oh, can you suggest types of paper for different types of origamis? Okay, uh, I will suggest. I have a few, a few papers here. I have to prepare this because uh, they are all. I don't know where are the papers right now, so I will try to make a video. I think it's better than doing this during during the live video. And well, today live is going to be really short, okay? Because I'm just updating about the origamis I am creating. And I'm not going to fold anything today, and I need to finish editing this video here, the, the, this tutorial here. I I was making the video yesterday till 4 a.m. So, I, and I still didn't finish it. So I need to I need to hurry because I want to finish it today. But anyway. Okay, uh, speaking of Christmas decorations, I'm using one of your Angel 3.0 as a peak of my tree. Okay, that origami is, is good for Christmas decorations for the tree topping. But it's so hard to fold it <laughs> that... Okay, I don't know how I made the hair. Uh, do you have any pointers for shaping the hair on the angels? Let me just take the angel here so I can see. Okay, so this is the angel. The hair... Oh, okay, the hair part is a little bit hard to fold, I know. But you should use those, those techniques, you know? You take a paper strip and then you roll the paper strip around the, the hair here you put a little bit of water so it can hold the shape but let me see if showing the details it's easier you see I, I just let me open a little bit here okay so when you open the, the model I just fold all the way here forward like this and then I press the paper here put a paper strip around and apply a little bit of water I don't know what part you couldn't you couldn't fold from the tutorial but by looking the tutorial the origami is like this So again, I just fold the top part forward, and then press the sides, put a paper strip around, and apply some water. <clears throat> Mine looks like it has a square instead. A square head instead of hair. Yeah. <laughs> if you just apply some water and use the paper strip, it's going to be, it's going to shape better. Okay. And the other origami I just created. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make the, this tutorial, because, okay, um, this is supposed to be a, a, another origami Santa. I still didn't finish, but it's going to be like this. If you make with a red paper. It will look like a Santa, okay? Because it's the same thing as this one. It's the, it's the same as this one here. But the difference is that this one is made of a single sheet of paper. 
and this one is made with two sheets of paper. But um, as I posted yesterday, this one is like 10 times easier than this one. And as it is a Christmas decoration, I don't want to make something too hard. Uh, I will eventually, eventually make this origami here, the tutorial for this one. I just need to finish this step by step. But for now, okay. But for now, I will just make this one here. Okay, are you now concerted, concert, concentrated only in designing your own origamis? Do you have time for folding model, models by other artists? Um, I can fold models from other artists. And I was just not concentrated in doing it, but it's, it's not a problem. I can just make origamis from other people. I just have to ask authorization. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can. I can't use that water method in my folds because my paper, my paper is low quality. Ah, uh, okay. The orange paper turned it into white. Yeah. Uh, if the coloring is is too weak, and you apply water, it's going to lose <coughs> lose the color. Ah, tô criando bastante sim. <laughs> Tô criando bastante origami agora. So, uh, I'm trying to create more origamis uh, mostly because I I like to create origamis. Uh, I I mean, I like to to find something uh, I don't know to improve the origamis that exists already. Because you see, when I create an origami, I first I f try to uh, looks look at some gap you know when you where you can't find a specific type of origami i want to, to fold so i just assume that uh, there must be other people that couldn't find the same origami i wanted and there the origami santa the santa claus was actually a suggestion from one of the members and he just said something like that, that he couldn't find a 3D origami Santa. That's why I created this one. I suppose there, there are origami Santas with more, uh, I don't know, another 3D origami Santas, but I couldn't find anything simple and, and 3D. Most of origamis was 2D. Okay, so I'm actually also accepting suggestions for my origamis because right now I don't have, I, I'm going to create an origami tree for Christmas, but the problem is that there are a lot of origami trees already, so I'm not sure if I'm going to create an origami tree, but anyway, I am also... I, I'm also folding lots of the suggestions I'm getting, but there are so many suggestions. Let let me see the list here. The list is so huge that I just can't fold everything. Let me just read the suggestions I have now. So birds of prey, phoenix, griffin, unicorn, centaur, reindeer, Mario or Luigi, uh, Lucario. Lucario, Mockingjay, uh, the Coffin Dance, uh, an octopus, three-headed dragons, Christmas decorations that I'm doing already. Did do me? Me percebi não, não foi de propósito. Let me see. Stegosaurus, uh, Witch, Hollow Knight. I actually like this suggestion, Hollow Knight. I have never played the game. Uh, there is a friend who suggested me to play this game, but I still didn't play. But I like the character, the main character. And another two origami jet flight, jet fighters, jet fighters. And the 
goose goose is that how you say it? goose from the goose game you know that that bird the goose with the knife so this those are the suggestions I have so far let me read a little bit of the comments right now uh, why do you think there are so few tutorials about shaping is an implicit rule in the origami world that in shape shaping matter okay uh, no it's not it's actually because shaping uh, we, we don't have a specific technique you know something that you have to do in every origami for shaping it's more based on creativity but it's also that no one tried to to compile every technique in one thing one place because for example that uh, that paper stripe and water thing it's it's something that a lot of people does but I don't know why I couldn't find any video showing this this technique. I suppose I should make a video instead of only showing it in live videos. But yeah, I think it's something like uh, it's like you said, you know, the shaping is more something more particular, something that you do and you have your own techniques but I can show something so let me read some read more of the comments are you concentrated in make on only designing your game no I'm not so if you have suggestions you can give the suggestions I'll try to ask the the author but right now I'm co more concentrated in making Christmas decorations let me see what what is your favorite design other than your Darkness Dragon 3.0. My favorite design, uh, probably the Phoenix from Kamiya Satoshi is one of the favorite designs. Uh, one of my favorite origamis I've, I have folded. Eu achei o Stormtrooper do Kei Murisu assim. Eu ainda não tentei entrar em contato com muito com muitos origamistas para lá e para cá porque eu tô correndo atrás daquela desses problemas de copyright e, e um monte de coisa assim que tem consumido bastante do meu tempo além de estar tá criando origami de Natal and I'm working on pain from Naruto okay pain is going to be really hard to make the mask if I remember the mask has that spiral Am I right? Are you going to make a color change on that? Because if you do, it's going to be really cool, but it's going to be really hard to do. I've just begun designing my own origami. Your tutorials have been extremely helpful. Oh, that's good. I I hope I can help more. I actually want to make a series teaching more of the designing process because I I've been doing this on live videos. But I think there are so so many things to say. So there are so so much information, informations about how to to fit one, you know, one shape on another shape. Because uh, when I make a tutorial, uh, an origami like this one, and then I make an origami like this one, it's. It's the same origami, but this one uses two sheets of paper, this one uses one sheet of paper, and it's basically the same thing when you create. This one gets way more complex than this one, but it is... Uh, there. I'm not sure how to explain the technique to do this, you know? You create things with separate separate sheets of paper, and there is a way to just join everything in, in the same sheet of paper. It is hard to teach this because um, it's not something that there's a definite technique to do this. You you also have to think a lot, you know, because there will be remaining of the paper from one sheet going to all directions. You have to 
learn how to conform this in a single sheet of paper. Um, what is this, uncle, your English accent? Okay, I have an English accent. I'm not sure uh, how to fix, I'm not exactly fix, but to improve my English. Because I've been practicing a little bit, but it's hard when you don't have ways to speak in English with everyone. Because I live in Brazil, I my main language, my native language is Portuguese. So I don't get to speak in English that much. You know, uh, it's not a country where everyone speaks English. <clears throat> so my accent comes from Portuguese. I know a little bit of Japanese, but my native language is Portuguese. Okay, and what is what's the hardest origami you made? The hardest origami I've ever folded was oh made was probably that origami fairy. Yeah, probably. So, the one I created, the hardest origami I created is this one. Okay. And I created this just to practice because it has it was like four years without folding any origami so I wanted to test if I still could create origamis so this origami fairy is probably the hardest origami I've ever created I don't like to create origamis that are way too complex because uh, first it, not a lot of people will be able to fold the same origami and I like that more people fold my origamis you know and also the tutorial is way harder to, to make when the origami is complex and also I don't want to I don't like to spend way too much time folding the same origami I'll, I'll fix this later but the hardest origami I've ever folded is probably the Western Dragon I think yeah probably the western dragon because the western dragon there is that middle part of the head that it's it's hard to fold and the shaping of the leg is also really hard okay let me read something else here I told you to make the Santa yeah you did uh, I remember and it was your suggestion actually because when I made the poll to see what origami I would fold and you told about the Santa I couldn't believe there wasn't any 3D Santa <laughs> so that's why I created this one so thanks for the suggestion oh let me see uh, I mean about folding them as a hobby not especially for tutorials let me see what what did you say about this ah okay uh, folding them no I don't fold many origamis from other people just for myself I it's just a preference you know I I like to create origami so I prefer to spend my time creating origami than folding origami from other people when I fold origami from other people, mostly is to study the origami and learn what techniques the, the other person used. And please making, please make another series on designing origami. I would try to. <laughs> There's, uh, I mean, there are so many tutorials right now of people teaching how to design origami that I just didn't. I don't know, I didn't think of something new yet. I need to think, I, I always try to, when I create something, when I make a video, I try to improve what exists, because I, I don't know, I don't think it's it's good enough to just fold something or do the same thing that you can find in another video, because you have the videos from the plant psychologist and uh, Organized by Boys, 
and they are very well made. So I prefer to just uh, show show the video for other people, you know, instead of uh, I don't know copying the video. I don't think it's it's good. Uh, it's not creative enough. I'm not helping the community like this. Your English is your English honestly sounds great. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I've been practicing. My English is still still not good, but uh, I mean there is a lot of accent. Sometimes I record my my audio just to see how my English sounding uh, sounds. And you know there are a few points where I can't make the correct sound, so I keep practicing just to try to improve these small points. Uh, good to see you again. There's nothing wrong with your English. <laughs> Let me see here. Uh, spiral mask is your... Oh, it's Toby. Pain has no mask, if I, uh, as I recall. Yeah, am I confusing? Toby... Pain... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Toby is that... Uh, Toby is Madara, right? I'm confusing. Yeah, you're right. Pain... Yeah, I don't remember the face. I think he has some marks here on the eye. Oh, it's it has been so much time. So it it has been so long since I last watched Naruto. I don't remember anymore. Okay, what was the first origami you made? Probably the Tsuru. Probably I don't remember because I was six years old when I first folded an origami. Okay, he's talking about chakra rods on Pain's body. No, I was confusing. <laughs> I was confusing both characters. You're right. Uh, chakra rods on Pain's body. I, I don't remember Pain's character very well. I mean, he, the last time he showed was like 10 years ago, something like this. Teach the okay, please teach that fairy. I can't. I, I already showed the Chris pattern for the fairy. It's on my Instagram. But the problem with this origami is that it's I. I can't find a way to teach the origami. It's very hard to fold it. Uh, I can make a video showing the crease pattern and and folding the crease pattern, but. It's really hard to make a step-by-step -step tutorial for that. Happy to see that Santa model. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin Schneider. Is that right? Schneider? Yeah, probably it is. Thank you for your support. Let me see here. Contact the chakra point. It's okay. Uh, we'll do live streamings where I can tell you to fold. Uh, okay, where we can tell you what to fold, like Jeremy Schaefer. I've never watched his live streams, so I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but where we can tell you what to fold. So, uh, uh, do you mean. Tell me what to fold during the live video, or you tell beforehand. Probably you give the suggestions before, right? And then you, and then I can learn before. <laughs> okay, uh, you should play Minecraft. I've I've never played. I mean, I played min Minecraft, but something like. A couple hours. I didn't play more than that. I don't know much about, but I've, I've watched some speed running. You know, I like to watch speed run, speed runs. Even though I've never played Minecraft, it's it's cool to see people doing the speed runs. Okay, I was in a mo motorcycle accident when I was 18. We are recovering from that accident. I learned origami from your videos. Oh, that's great. No, not great that you had an accident, but... That's good that you could learn origami. 
I don't have the guts to ride a motorcycle because you know I live in Sao Paulo and the statistics the statistics here in Sao Paulo about motorcycle is not really good you know uh, a lot of people get in accidents so I don't know I don't have the guts to to ride a motorcycle here in Sao Paulo I can't read the crease I can't read the crease pattern yeah the crease pattern it's it's really hard to to read that because it's also a part of creating origami so you must be really advanced already to fold from the crease pattern there are sim simple crease patterns you know the the easy ones that probably if you can fold intermediate level origamis you can fold the crease patterns <coughs> but Mostly, when I make a crease pattern, it's not exactly for everyone to fold it, but for me to remember how to fold it, because uh, I need to, I need to make a, you know, some way, some way to track how to fold the origami again, because I'm not going to unfold my origami all the, every time I want to fold it one more time. Oh, thanks, thanks again, Kevin. When I was 18, I was in a motorcycle accident, okay, where I broke both legs, both, both my knees. I spent six months in a hospital bed watching your videos, helping me through the time. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really glad I could help. I'm really, really glad I could help. And thanks a lot for your support. When... I, I, I don't know, I'm... I'm really afraid of riding motorcycles. I can ride bikes, no problem, but motorcycles, when I see people, I mean, if I was living in, in the countryside somewhere without many cars, probably I would, but here in Sao Paulo, I don't know if you have, have, have ever seen the transit here in Sao Paulo, it's probably not worse than India, I, I mean, India looks like it's it's way worse than Sao Paulo, but Sao Paulo is, is really, really bad. The traffic here is really, really bad. And the, when I say the statistics is that almost all my friends that I know that rides motorcycle every day, almost all of them have already broken a leg or, or something or at least fell from the motorcycle once here in Sao Paulo. Yes, I'm from Brazil. Okay, any complex tutorials coming up? Okay, the next complex origami is going to be probably going to be the the Darkness Dragon 3.2. Okay, this origami here because I already know the step by step to to make the to make this origami and I already folded I already made one tutorial for that I just need to record the long version of the tutorial so I can show everyone how to fold it but for now it's only for members because I just folded the short version I folded uh, I made the short version actually the main reason I folded it is for me to remember later uh, the the walkthrough of how to fold the origami so that's why I folded uh, that's why I made the tutorial and I, I called it short tutorial because I recorded and made the, the tutorial in a single day but the next the next time I fold this it's going to be uh, way longer something like uh, an hour video, more than one hour video. Okay, I'm Indian. My no mother tongue is Hindi. You should, uh, should you be able to talk in Hindi? I have absolutely no idea how how to speak in Hindi. I don't know any words in Hindi actually. I. I know a little bit of Japanese, Portuguese, and English, but now I can understand Spanish. 
but Hindi is completely different from everything I've ever learned. That's why it's really hard. Cara, que bom te ver aí novamente. Obrigado, Claudio. <risos> eu tô de volta. Agora eu vou começar a fazer mais vídeos. Eu tô com bastante projeto, assim, de coisa... Uh, de coisa nova, de... Origamis mais... Uh, quer dizer, séries novas, né, de origami. E yeah. In Indian traffic is... In India, the traffic is really bad. Yeah, it, it looks like it's really bad. <coughs> I've never been there, but... I don't know why I have this image that... The traffic in India and in China are the worst traffics in the world. I'm not sure if that's true, but that's the that's what um, at, at least that's what I think it is. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Can you and Jeremy Schaefer do a collab? Well, we can. I've never actually I've never talked with Jeremy Schaefer. Uh, the only YouTubers. I've ever talked with is Joe Nakashima and Sarah Adams. Sarah Adams, yeah. Because, well, I've been absent for four years, right? <laughs> I don't know why, I've never talked with Jeremy Schaefer. I think that uh, Joe Nakashima and Sarah Adams was there in the beginning, so I know them for longer. But I can, yeah. I, I just don't know what to do. What collab I can do with with Jeremy Schaefer? Okay, let me read more comments here. Um, it took me an hour to fold the Jupiter by Toda. I don't know what origami is this. Let me just copy here. Jupiter by Toda. I will see it later. Was it hard to make the uh, 3.2 version of the Darkness Dragon? Well, the 3.2 version is actually just an improvement. The face I already created uh, four years ago, so I didn't create this part of the origami. What I created, what I did was improve the structure of the body because you know um, I needed a better paper distribution so I could improve the wings oh and this wing has my stamp it's a Mori stamp <laughs> and I just like to to keep improving the structure because with a better structure, it also gets easier to teach. That's why this origami is actually easier to teach, way easier to teach than the, the Darkness Dragon 2.0. <clears throat> I have a kid, it's not worth the risk. She also watches your video. Yeah, it's it's really, I don't know, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't ride bikes because I'm really afraid of breaking a leg. <laughs> I need help. I can't find big paper, but I can fold the Darkness Dragon with eight and half by eleven. Eight by eight and half by eleven. What what does this mean? Uh, you mean shouldn't it be a, a square? <laughs> Eight and a half by eleven, so you cut in a square of eight by eight and a half. Um, okay, a big paper. Maybe, maybe I'm not sure where you live, but maybe you can find. Maybe you can find this sort of paper, because. It used to be really hard for me to find big paper, big and good paper. But this is a Chinese rice paper called Wenzhou. I think that's how you say it. Let me write here. It's Wen, Wenzhou. Wenzhou, Wenzhou. I'm not sure. So it has one meter. One meter. 
one meter. <laughs> I don't know how to say that in inches. Ah, oh, come on. I don't know why the camera stops work sometimes. Okay, so you can use this paper here. And it wasn't really hard to find this origami. It's a rice paper from China. <clears throat> uh, but, uh, I mean, in India, it probably it should, shouldn't be really hard to find Chinese paper. I'm not sure how it works, but I, I suppose in India there's a lot of things from China, because it's really close. But, okay, I'm, I'm assuming things, I have no idea. In Hindi, Namaste. <coughs> Namaste ap kaise ho. I'm not sure if that's how you read it, but Namaste ap kaise ho. Kaise ho. Namaste. Yeah, I know the word Namaste. <clears throat> and what do you think about the works of Kamiya Satoshi Book 3? I've never seen the book. I mean, I've been absent for three years. I need to, to find the new origamis. <laughs> fold more of the origamis. I always thought you were Japanese. Well, I am Japanese in the sense that I am, uh, how do you say, uh, I have a Japanese passport, my parents are Japanese, I can move to Japan if I want to because I am registered there, so I am Japanese, but I was born and raised here in Brazil, so I know I know how to speak in Japanese and I am kind of Japanese, you know, officially I am Japanese, but I speak Portuguese more than Japanese because I was raised here in Brazil. You will love Toda. He's a paper airplane focused, but like you, a folding genius. I'm not a genius, I just practice it a lot. <laughs> I I started folding when I was six, but you know I it, it really took me a lot a lot of time to it really took really long to learn how to create origami. But I started creating origami when I was I think I was eighteen, so it wasn't I wasn't that young when I started creating origamis. But then I focused a lot. E aí, Henrique, beleza, cara? Não vou, você não vai conseguir acompanhar a live pra ser mais pra dar um salve. Salve, Henrique, valeu aí por tudo, cara. Sempre tem me ajudado pra caramba. Uh, no, it's impossible to find. You mean the, the Chinese paper? But I... I don't know, India is so big. Don't you, don't you guys have any... Or, I don't know how to say it, but handmade papers, you know, because any kind of thing, handmade paper is good. The difference, uh, the, the problem here in Brazil is that you can find paper from banana tree, but it's way too expensive, way too expensive. So if you buy the rice paper from China, it's like 10 times cheaper. Oh, valeu aí, Henrique, de novo, cara. Valeu mesmo. Valeu pelo suporte. Aí o suporte de vocês tem conseguido me fazer manter esse canal aqui. Mas, mas o canal tá recuperando. De pouco em pouco, de pouco em pouco estamos conseguindo fazer o canal ficar render o suficiente, né? Eu tô até procurando meios de registrar os origamis e fazer um monte de coisa assim para conseguir para conseguir dar uma melhorada no canal. Porque esse é um dos motivos que eu não consigo me manter no canal, né? É, eu faço um origami, crio um, crio um origami, fico vários dias fazendo, criando origami, fazendo o, o vídeo. E aí em 15 minutos alguém vê o vídeo e dobra de novo, aí e grava de novo. Isso que tem me prejudicado bastante. Mas aí com o apoio de vocês, realmente estou conseguindo manter o canal agora. Valeu mesmo. Ok. It's impossible to find any better paper in India because people don't buy it here 
and for one Wenzo paper ah okay and for us one Wenzo paper is uh 6700 60, 60, rupees and it's way too much for me i don't know how much is that rupees uh 6700 rupees it's weird because the Wenzo paper here in brazil is so so much cheap so so much i don't know if it's that's right so much more cheaper so so much cheaper it's way cheaper i don't know <laughs> it's cheaper than the brazilian papers that's what i find that's why i started buying these papers here because this one has like it has 10 meters it is 10 meters okay 10 meters of paper it costs like 20 dollars so it it isn't that much you know 10 meters twenty dollars I'm going to and this one is going to last like at least at least a, a year <clears throat> uh, is box splitting used alone while creating an origami or bo both start oh, or both circle packing and box splitting are used and in box splitting how does the person know which creases he has to draw uh, how can he know it okay uh, about this there are uh, there are tutorials teaching how to find the crease pattern for box splitted origamis and actually there are also programs you can find several softwares that you draw the tree and it just makes the crease pattern and I'm not sure how to use them because I try to use to use them once but for me at least for me it's faster if I just draw my draw the the origami because I already know how the, the folds are going to be but in the end in the end the main point of making the crease patterns is that you understand how each fold is going to result in the paper so it's not the opposite you don't start from the crease pattern to create the origami you need to understand how the folds works first and then you pass it to the crease pattern if you don't do this uh, the crease pattern per se is not going to uh, make much sense. Vou mover aqui. I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't know if it's good to discuss it here because of fight in India China border. Ah, okay. Uh, so many Chinese app and websites are banned. Yeah, probably. Probably that. That's the a reason. Well, I probably there's no problem talking about China here, <clears throat> especially because YouTube is banned in China, so they they can't even watch my videos without a VPN. Okay, let me read what else I have here. Hello, boa noite. Uh, uh, boa tarde. Yeah, one <laughs> Hello, boa tarde. First of all, I'd like to say that. If you ever use the Belo Horizonte subway, there is a slight possibility that you will find one of your creations laying around. Really? In Belo Horizonte? Oh, why is that? Caramba, não sabia disso não. Que uh, tem alguma coisa lá em Belo Horizonte em relação a em relação a origami lá no no metrô cara eu gosto eu, eu tenho muita vontade de ir para Belo Horizonte para passear por lá principalmente por causa da comida eu já cheguei aí para caramba fugiu o nome agora ai caramba qual que era o nome da cidade eu fui em uma cidade lá de Minas agora eu esqueci o nome putz como é que posso esquecer o nome da cidade que eu fui é... 
Ah, esqueci, velho. Eu já cheguei a passar em Minas. Só que eu não consegui experimentar muita comida. Eu tenho muita vontade. Porque aqui em São Paulo eu peço comida mineira o tempo todo. <risos> Mas é interessante, cara. Eu não sabia que tinha isso aí, não. Muito interessante saber. Oh, because I learn, because I learn from you and make them when I'm bored at work. <laughs> oh, so you work at the subway. Ah, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I thought there there was some sort of display there in, in Belo Horizonte. If there is a display, I, I don't know. If there is a display here in Brazil, I would gladly send an origami. And I, I actually have, I even make, uh, I make some displays just for me. Let me just show you one. <coughs> I like to put the origami in this place, like this, okay, like the darkness dragon, you see, and with the acrylic cover, I'm not going to put the cover right now, but just put the acrylic cover on it. And with the okay, show here and the origami with the crease pattern. This one is 3D printed, okay. And I like to make this kind of this kinds of display. I've never. I should sell this kind of origami, but I've never sold any of this. <clears throat> okay, here. Okay, so one room. One dollar is seventy six rupees, so that's going to be about a hundred dollars for Wenzel paper. Yeah, that's a lot, that's way too expensive. That's weird, that's really weird because it's way cheaper here in Brazil, including TikTok is also banned in China, in India. TikTok is banned in India. I've I've had no idea. Why is that? It, oh, okay. TikTok, TikTok is is from China. Am I right? Okay, I'm invisible in China. Got to hit, got to hit the road. English slang for you. Take care. <laughs> so take care. It's been nice knowing you, Tras China. We'll probably come after you now. <laughs> Well, they, they don't even watch YouTube, so there's no problem. <clears throat> but I really find it, it weird, you know, because... Uh, well, uh, well, politics, right? I am not going to discuss politics. Uh, because I learn from, from you and make them when I'm bored at work. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I already read this. Uh, the silver play button. Yeah, the silver play button. It has been more than 10 years <laughs> I had that silver play button. If I... Oh, had I... Uh, if I stayed making videos on YouTube, probably I would have this, the other... The, the gold button already. But yeah, I don't have it yet. I will probably have it eventually. <clears throat> the 3D printed CP is really cool. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was an idea I had when I made the display. I'm not sure why I'm making these displays, cause I I 
make make them only once and I'm not sure probably I should sell these origamis eventually I will sell them uh, what kind of what of kind of origami do you prefer the ones more realistic or the ones more stylized uh, I prefer the ones more stylized I'm not really a fan of realistic origamis <coughs> I'm not really a fan of realistic, realistic origamis because it is uh, uh, first because I don't like to spend way too much time in a single origami but I think that the main reason is that I like origamis when it's more uh, character, caricature you know, like when I make an origami cat, I don't like to make the origami really realistic. I like to make that big head, fat body. I think it's cute like this, you know. That's why I prefer to do like this. But, well, of course, I sometimes I make dragons or, and things like this. I prefer to make fantasy origamis, you know, uh, not... Uh, things that exists. I don't know why. It's it's something I like. Okay, let me see what else. Uh, on the last community post from Jason Merrill, he said that he sold one of his origamis for 200 USD. You could make a lot of money. Well, yeah, probably. I don't know if I could make a lot of money because it's not really easy to sell origami because for example <coughs> uh, if I sell this origami here the display the display is already the display costs about fifty dollars it's about fifty USD to, I think no maybe a little bit less forty forty bucks and displays are really expensive, I don't know why. Uh, the paper is not really expensive, but the time I spend making this is about, let me say, about six hours. <coughs> and the shipping is also, I, I was actually looking the price for shipping. The shipping for, for, Europe and for the US is about 35 to 40 dollars so if you if you take everything in consideration and I sell it for 200 dollars I am going to earn like a hundred dollars for a day of work so it's not really that much you know and I sometimes uh, I don't know if I spend too much time too, too much time creating no uh, making origami and selling it I won't be I won't have time to make the tutorials it's really a time thing you know it, I need to spend a lot of time to make and sell origami so unless I could sell for more substantial prices, you know, instead of uh, $200, if I could sell for maybe $300 for one origami like this one, then it would be worth it. But selling an origami, even if it has a display and everything for $300, it's, it's too much and that's the problem uh, it's not people don't don't consider origami an art enough to, to pay for it like you pay in in picture pictures no how to say it in paintings <clears throat> and that's the problem with selling origami
Uh, I suppose you're using one proportion, one by one will be too big. Yeah, it's going to be too big because it's going to have one meter. <laughs> I can't fold an origami for four or five months because I'm folding the Ryujin. <laughs> That's why I don't fold the, Ryu, the Ryujin. It's going to spend a lot of time. I, I'm not. I'm not really prepared for that. So I agree with you, the realistic ones look like paper sculptures, not origamis. Yes, that's exactly what I think. Of course, if you see an origami like the Ryujin, it's really amazing. <laughs> I think you deserve more recognition, but I really like the feel of the smaller Q&A streams. Well, I am going to keep making the Q&A even, even then, but well, it's... I don't really matter not having a, a big recognition. I just wanted to be able to keep uh, working with this, with something I like, you know, because I think I can also contribute a lot to the origami com community. I, I, and I say this not because I am confident of my skills or anything like this, but Every time I start to create origamis, I find gaps, you know, the, these gaps. I say that I want to fold something and I don't find the thing I want to fold, the, the style I want to fold, so I create it. So I am feeling this, these gaps, you know. <clears throat> Our origami community is in developing stage right now. Yes, it is. And that's why it's hard to live by selling origami. I, well, I can try to sell this one, maybe sell this origami, but I can only sell it uh, if it's not exactly selling it as, as, how do you say, a hand and working, I don't know how to say it, but uh, if I sell it as a sculpture, if I copyright, because this origami is going to be copyrighted, I just sent the application to copyright the origami, and also I have the, the stamp that shows that this origami is original. So if I sell it as art, then maybe it may be worth it. But I'm not going to sell to make lots of origamis. I want to sell just one, you know. But if well, yeah, that's that's the idea, you know. I can't I can't just keep making lots and lots of origami and sell each one for for ten dollars, twenty or thirty dollars. And make a complex origami and sell for a hundred. Uh, this is not going to be profitable, and I'm going to spend a lot of time doing this. So it's going to be really hard to do this and make the origami channel at the same time. <clears throat> and oh, when when I say sell the origami, I I wouldn't like to just make an origami and sell the origami. I like to do this, you know, all the, the structure, everything to be on display because, uh, well, it's not, it's not nice to have an origami just laying around. I want to make something that uh, people can buy and place anywhere he wants and it will be protected. Selling them as a decoration piece is a possibility. Auctioning is, is another. Maybe putting them as a prize on a subscription subscription tier. I was also thinking about making them as a prize. Especially because right now I have two two people in the in the highest level of membership, the uh, how to say it, the, the legendary level of membership so maybe yeah maybe i can put it as a price for for the higher the highest tier mama luigi eu fico tão feliz de ver de te ver de volta tadashi 
Desculpa, o senhor é só respeito. <risos> não tem problema, não. Eu vejo seu canal desde os 11 anos e te acho foda. Cara, valeu mesmo. Valeu mesmo por assistir meu canal aí. E é bom estar tá de volta, viu? É bom poder fazer mais coisas aí. Uh, you can maybe offer it, it on your website as an option for people to buy. Yeah, I want to make a, an Etsy account and just leave the origami there. You know, just a single one and sell it as a original piece, one just one origami. If I make several origamis and, and sell them, then it's going to take way too much time. I can't make a, a store just selling origami. Oh, you, you upgrade? You upgrade? Thank you, man. <laughs> really. I'm really grateful. Is that the word? Okay, let me see. There is no other way. You have to use low quality paper until origami will come to India. Mm, yeah. Low quality. I, I'm really wondering if in India you can't find a handmade paper, some better papers. Because here in Brazil it was really hard to find. Really, really hard to find uh, better papers. But if, but now I I could find papers, but it was expensive. You know, a single sheet of paper costing like five dollars, so it was too expensive for a single sheet of paper. But right now I can find better papers. That's why I always give my origami then I decide, when I decide to make stuff from time to time. Yeah, I use it to give a lot of my origamis. And if if there was no cost in shipping the origamis, I would give way more origamis than 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 what I do now, you know. But the shipping for anywhere around the world it's going to cost at least 20 bucks just for the shipping so it's that's that's the problem with uh, selling or sending origami if I want to make something cheap it's not going to be cheap due, due to the because of the shipping I've seen one of Jonakashima dragons for $60 at Etsy mm. $60 well, it's not original, right? It's someone that just folded his origami. In this case, it's actually... If, you, if you're not going to make a display and if you're not going to, uh, to make all the steps to, uh, to make it um, a decoration, then it's, it's easier. You just make the origami and sell it. I don't... but I don't want to do this. Hello, I'm very I'm a very big fan of yours in Korea. Hello. How do you say it? Um, in Korea? Oh, I forgot. Anyong haseo? No. Anyong haseo is... Anyong... Oh, I forgot. I know uh, some words in Korean. <laughs> I don't remember it. No. I knew some songs. Actually, I don't know why I knew so many songs in Korean. Uh, there was one, yeah, what was the name, um, the one from Kiss, uh, Because I'm a Girl, something like this, I knew that song. Uh, surely there is tissue paper in India, you could always try it making double tissue, yeah, double tissue is actually good. Oh, I mean, you can fold it after someone orders it from your site. Oh, yeah. Maybe give people a choice of colors too. To make it more attractive for them to order. Yeah, I need to think about it. The main problem I have with order <coughs> ordering origamis is the YouTube channel. 
uh, it's not easy to maintain both things because when I make an origami I need to to use my table you know to prepare the paper and the paper takes a day to to be ready to start folding and well there there are a lot of uh, logistics problem but it it could work I'm I don't even have a website yet <laughs> okay let me see what else I give away to colleagues yeah I use it to do this to you know make a lot of origamis and give give them to the other to to everyone but I really wanted to give to to you guys you know to, to the people watching my videos to the people watching my live videos to the people who are actually in this uh, supporting me in my channel I really wanted to find a way to I don't know, make maybe make a lot of origamis make the, make them and send them somewhere and and give them to, to all the people who watch my videos I really wanted to to find a way to to do this <clears throat> build a store with options is attractive for the customer but the time will consume is immense yes okay 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 handy paper is really good and experienced paper on Amazon is about 30 hundred twenty thousand rupees but we are not gonna give up yet hanji I've never used hanji I've seen that paper it's it's like the Japanese washi and like the Wenzo it's all similar what the the one I like to use is Wenzo because it's way cheaper than the others <coughs> but it it's really I don't know why it's so expensive in India it should, shouldn't be well again politics right that that must have something about the politics because you are also living so close from China but I, yeah I know there are some tensions in the borders of India and China there was that fight I, I don't know why I I actually don't don't read much about those things. I just know that it happens and I don't go really deep into these things. Okay, can you explain how you learn it creating origami? Is there some sources you use it, channel or books? Or you learn it by yourself? Yes, I learn it by myself mostly because I didn't have much uh, ways to learn how to create origami but in the end I think it was a good path because I ended up developing my own my own style in creating origami but there are several tools uh, the more tools you know uh, the better you know there are a lot of vi videos from the plant psychologist and origami by boys teaching the crease pattern things and how to create origami but if you see my videos that are, that I show how to create origami you'll see that it's it's mostly freestyle <laughs> you know I just uh, doodle a lot I just know where each fold is gonna end it's mostly about about folding and understanding how the fold is gonna look on the on the paper after you you open the paper and the most most complicated oh what what is the most complicated origami you created I showed this origami already it's this origami fairy this one is the most complex I've ever created I don't like creating too complex origamis 
I prefer to create origami that looks cute, you know, and easier to fold so a lot of people can fold. So I prefer to create origamis like the origami cat I uploaded. What's your religion? My religion, I don't have any. I mean, I used it to go in a Christian church a long time ago. I used it to be in the, how to say, worship band and everything. But then I, I stopped it. So right now I don't have any. Uh, people's reactions are nice, but okay, let me read. The intention is be okay. It has braids now. Yeah, it has. <laughs> you didn't see? I changed the pap the long hair and transformed it into braids. I think it looks nicer. And I'm not sure if I'm going to teach this origami. I created a fundraiser for a start startup completely for origami selling cheap homemade homemade paper. And I as expected no one has donated yet. Startup for well let, let me understand this. I created a fundraiser for startup completely for origami selling cheap for uh, for startup completely for origami selling cheap homemade paper so you you wanted to sell the homemade paper yeah it's missing a skateboard the skateboard is here <laughs> it's just that I removed it and I can't place it here right now skateboard outlet okay here I think I'm going to make another skateboard with uh, uh, another color this one is, is hard to see Okay, so today I told it was going to be a really short live, but it ended up having more than an hour. <laughs> okay, let me read. What else is that? Teach the angel. I have a video teach in, uh, with the tutorial for the angel. Oh, or, or do you mean the fairy? The fairy, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to make a step-by-step -step tutorial for that. I've heard of fairies in boots, but not in skateboards. Yeah, <laughs> I made this in skateboards because of that, that skater girl, you know, the skater fairy, Haisa Leal. That's why I made it with the skateboard. Está levantando uma dinheiro para uma startup que vende papel mais barata. Ah, entendi. What your goal? What what your goal to instant ramen? I have no idea what is this question. I'm not sure. If, okay, the ferry. I'm not sure if I'm going to teach it because it's way too hard to make a step-by-step -step tutorial for that. Uh, the crease pattern, if you see the crease pattern, you see that there is no sequence of folds. You cannot make a sequence of folds. Yes, yes exactly, the afadinha. So uh, I cannot make a sequence of folds for that origami. Uh, it's, it's really hard to make a sequence of folds for the fairy because there are zigzag folds that you have to make a lot of folds at the same time so if you <clears throat> if you make 
if you know how to fold crease pattern it's going to be easy but uh, the box pleating it's going to be easy but if you don't know how to fold it it's uh, it's hard because there are way too many folds that have to happen at the same time that's why I'm really I'm not sure if I'm going to make the tutorial for that it's it's going to be way too hard to make uh, is there a, a next specific base that's best to make humanoid origamis? Well, most people make humanoid humanoid origamis with box pleating. Uh, there's no specific base for that. Just that box pleating, especially because you you don't have a base. Especially because it varies a lot according to what. Uh, how many flaps you want if you want just a humanoid base with you know legs hands legs hands and head then it's going to be easy but if you try to add a skirt for example then the base is going to be completely different so it's basically basically box pleating and you learn something about level shifters I actually don't don't use the theory for level shifters. I just I know the I know the theory uh, in practice. I don't know exactly how to do it, but the for example the skirt. <clears throat> I just did something like this on the paper, you know, folded it downwards, then upwards, and then okay. This this part is going to be the skirt. But as you can see, the paper is way too wide, so I just have to make several parallel folds. Let me see if I can just show the idea. Okay, so I just narrow the paper and then I pull that part from inside that's going to be the skirt okay so I just I have to reverse the fold here well yeah that, that's the idea I just pull the the layer from inside so I make the skirt here it's not exactly this I also have one more fold here on the other side so I can also have this line here to make the the waist I'm not I'm not really good at creating humanoid shapes actually I think that Shang Nara is better than me at creating humanoid shapes I I know a little bit about box pleating, but I'm not really experienced in making this kind of origami. <clears throat> okay, the crease pattern is in my Instagram. My Instagram is at Tadashi Origami. Tada, oh, come on, Tadashi Origami. Okay, is there any origami schools and where? Origami schools? No, I, I don't know. I don't think there is. Uh, only workshops and a few tutorials here and there. But I don't, I'm not sure if there are origami schools. So what's up, what's up, Tadash? It's me, Jabid's word, another account. Ah, Jabit's word, okay. <laughs> I did the same thing with on my Madara Uchiha for the armor. Yeah, it's it's this idea. I couldn't pass the idea really well here, but it's just a level shifter. <clears throat> How do you fold flowers origami? Can you show some? I I don't have any origami flower here right now. Uh, I don't have any. I used it to have. Where are them? 
I use it to f have lots of the, those pentagon rows. I use it for a lot of flowers, but lately I've, I, oh, it's been a while since the last time I folded on a flower origami. Okay, so I think that's it for now, for today. I wasn't really planning to make a live video this long because I actually need to finish making the tutorial for the the origami Santa Claus, this one here. I'm almost finishing it, but I really want to to upload and finish the the tutorial today. So I'm going I'm going to end this live here. Thanks a lot everyone for watching this and I really hope I can keep making new things and if you guys have suggestions just place them in, in the videos I make and I am going to get back to work right now. <laughs> Thanks a lot everyone and see you next week.